I'm really excited about this album and how God is going to use it. My hope is that it would set your heart on fire. Now this album, Heart on Fire, it really means so much to us because it's been something we've been working on for almost five years now. And this anticipation has just been building. We really believe something is coming. We really believe that this is not for us, that it's not even for you, but this is bigger than all of us. To be his hands and to be his feet, to shine his light, let your light shine, <laughs> to link arms with one another um, and just unite the church as a whole to go <laughs> and to be used by the Lord. What we've been really feeling and praying into uh, as we've gotten closer to this album coming out and, and as this album does come out, is just that we have permission. Not that we're giving you permission or that others are giving you permission, but you have permission from Jesus, from scripture, to be the minister, an ambassador, the righteousness of God, a new creation with the message of reconciliation, which means you get to bring people back to God. To go to work with dad every single day. <laughs> it's such a, a privilege that we have. and. Um, I, I do believe that we were created for worship. And worship doesn't just have to be singing, it doesn't have to just be on a Sunday morning, but um, worship is a lifestyle. And so you do, you, you have permission from the Father <laughs> to make a difference, to use the gifts and the talents that the Lord has given you. So all of this, it's not something that you must do, you must go, it's the right thing to do as, as behavior, mindsets think in churchianity, but as we follow Jesus, he gives us permission. He's not a respecter of persons. You have permission to go. You have permission to love. You have permission to serve and to be wild, radical for Jesus, turning your cities and your communities upside down. This is a response to the love of God. This is what a heart on fire looks like. This is what it means. It's not just fun words. It's not just semantics that we hope that it does well and it sounds cool. This is our prayer. This is what we live out as a lifestyle every single day. Failures all the time, more than our successes. But a heart on fire is simply an obedient, immediate, radical response to Jesus making his first step of love towards us. And when that grace hits you, there's nothing that you feel like you must do, must prove, must show. It's just a response of a heart on fire for God that's willing to give everything away for as long as you possibly can for Him to receive all the glory. Like it says in Psalm 115.1, one, one of our life verses, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto your name be the glory. And so I hope that your heart would burn within you as you remember who Jesus is and what He's done, and that He's empowered you with permission to take that to the world. Don't just leave your light on, <laughs> on the lampstand and um, keep it off, but shine it bright and shine it for the Lord. So may your hearts be set on fire for Him.